take a few days off. <laughs> all right, good morning, everyone. Is this um, great? Is everyone here? Good. All right, so I'll, um, I'll read out press elements that were agreed by the members of the Security Council following the closed consultations last Friday. The members of the Security Council met on 23rd June to receive a briefing from the UN Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process, Tor Wensland, and to discuss recent violence in the West Bank upon the request of the UAE, France, and China. The members of the Council expressed sorrow for the loss of civilian lives. They recalled the presidential statement adopted on 20th February 2023 including their call for full respect for international humanitarian law and the protection of the civilian population. They emphasized the obligations and commitments of Israeli and Palestinian authorities to fight and condemn terrorism in all its forms in a manner consistent with international law. They further emphasized the importance of holding accountable those responsible for such acts of violence. The members of the Security Council encouraged additional steps to restore a durable calm and de-escalate tensions and called on all parties to refrain from unilateral actions that further inflame tensions. They further urged for restraint to reduce tension and prevent further escalation. The members of the Security Council committed to remain seized of these issues and look forward to the open briefing today. End of press elements. Ambassador, in your national capacity, yeah. Israel has announced another 5,700 settler um, homes in the West Bank. And also, um, in recent hours, Prime Minister Netanyahu told the Knesset Committee about the Palestinians, we need to eliminate their aspirations for a state. Isn't Israel just showing contempt for the Security Council? And do you need to ask the Israeli ambassador in this meeting whether he really believes in a two-state solution? The UAE in its national capacity has condemned any settlement expansion, any further settlement activity as endangering the two-state solution. And the UAE is fully committed to the two-state solution underlined in all the various international law elements and UN Security Council resolutions. So our position is clear. The, se the settlements do undermine the viability of the two-state solution and we will be making that clear also in our statement today. Question on Mali. Um, the Mali government, government has obviously requested that the UN peacekeeping mission uh, shut down. Uh, I believe the council is discussing a draft that would end the mission on June 30 and have a six month drawdown. Is that still on track to be adopted on Thursday? The uh, council are in discussions about the future of the Mali mission. I can't comment on ongoing negotiations, but clearly the uh, the request from the Mali government has been taken into account and into consideration and the mission needs to function there with the full protection of coordination with the relevant authorities. So I think that is being included in the discussion, that those elements, but I can't comment on the specifics. Uh, and obviously a lot depends on discussions with the UN, with the uh, peacekeeping department on what is needed for a effective and safe and responsible drawdown. So I think those discussions are ongoing, including with regional partners as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Thank you very much.